Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, folks? It's your man Jay. And this is more of a follow up video on the Pixel 4. Now, there's some other information floating around about this new version of the Pixel 4 and what could be the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL. Here's the thing, folks. A couple things to look at. Um, you have to remember um, about when is Google going to release this device. So think of last year's release date for the Pixel 3. Uh, and another thing is there's a lot of words floating around like concept and mock-up. So in my experience in dealing with phones that like when I get the little dummy units, I'll say this. Those dummy units were turned out to be the real device. Uh, you know, like the, what the device was gonna actually be like. So, the first thing I wanna say about this latest mock-up or uh, concept uh, of the Pixel 4 is that it could be real. Uh, but until I actually get it in hand, I won't ever find out. Or until it's, until it's actually released and announced by Google, uh, I'm going to, uh, that's why I say treat a lot of this stuff as rumors and leaks because just because, you know, you put out a video or something saying, hey, this is what it's going to be. There's a lot of people on, on Twitter saying it's official and all this other stuff. It's never official until Google says, here is the Pixel 4 and the 4XL. And that is what you're going to have to take with this information that's being provided by a lot of us. I'll say us because I'm reporting on it too. Uh, but, you know, the, here's, here's if, if this is in fact... Um, the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 uh, XL is definitely a switch. You know, a lot of us say, you know, Google needs to do something different with the hardware. I said that. Um, and um, they do. However, you know, I guess, you know, I guess Google, if this is real, Google might be following the trend of adding a ton of cameras on the back when I said it before, and, and in reality, they don't have to. They, they've mastered how to take photos uh, and on, on your phone. So um, adding three and four cameras to the rear, I don't, I don't get that yet. I still don't understand that. I know people say, oh, we need a telephoto. No, you want a telephoto. You don't need a telephoto. Uh, only thing you could possibly need possibly is a wide angle lens or an ultra wide angle option. Uh, and you can do that within the phone itself with one camera. But this setup here, another another thing that's going to happen if, in fact, this is the Pixel 4 and the 4 XL, it's going to be a lot of jokes. Google's going to be the butt of a lot of jokes. And that's unfortunate because um, <laughs> the iPhone, pretty much is, this is the concepts, what it looks like for the iPhone. Um, and uh, that that's going to be strange, uh, you know, to have them come out with the same body style it's going to be different uh for sure if that if that happens man you know pixel owners team pixel you know what i'm saying don't back out on team pixel now <laughs> you know if it if it, <laughs> if it happens because I, I can see a lot of people doing that you know oh, you know they messed up but you know the same thing happened with the the uh the 6p everybody kind of clowned it and called it a unibrow phone and all this kind of crazy stuff then when it came out people loved it you know, so, you know, hate it or love it, if in fact this is the device, when did Google release the Pixel 3? Let's see. Let's see when they released the Pixel 3. Because um, that, that could give you some estimate of about if this phone is, is because if it's, if it's real, you know, when did they release this thing? When did they release this thing? Uh, let's see here. October of 2018. So that gives Google about six months. Five months. No, four months. Yeah, about four months. So if in fact this is the real Pixel 4, it is the Pixel 4. We know a couple things are for sure, for certain about this phone. If it is the Pixel 4, one thing is for certain is that it's going to have the just top of the line cameras, period. Top of the line cameras. It's, it's just going to have it. 
Uh, and, and that's something that I think Google will, Google will hold the title for to a lot of people. I'm not saying that's a fact, but a lot of people will feel that way. And no matter what, they, they could put 26 cameras on the back. One of those cameras is going to be the best. That's, that's just the way I feel about it. But this, this mock-up, this, this concept, and you know, that's, that's exactly what it says on a lot of the things that are being released. Concept, mock-up. But, but like I said at the beginning of the video, the only problem with that is most of the concepts and mock-ups that I've gotten ahead of time were actually devices. They actually came out <laughs> later on, three to six months later. It was, turns out it was really, really the truth. And um, that's just what it is, man. So quick plug here. Let's talk about the Galaxy Note 10. Uh, new information is coming out about that phone. Uh, and wow, uh, if, if Samsung takes away the headphone jack. So here's how people are coming up to this conclusion. It's because case manufacturers, some have released their pictures of their new cases for the Galaxy Note 10 and there is no headphone jack. Clearly, you can clearly see there's no headphone jack. So what's happening to the OEMs to make them feel like, oh, I better, I better take this away. You know, the customers don't need this. We can push our Bluetooth. The one difference between Samsung, and I'll give them credit, I'll give them credit. At least at one point in selling the phone, they actually give you their best Bluetooth headphones. And normally that's like a pre-order sale or something like that. The option is there. Not a lot of companies give you their top of the line or best uh, earbuds or headphones for free. Uh, well, they're not actually free because, you know, it's kind of incorporated. But no, nonetheless, you don't pay anything separately. You get it all bundled together. And that's a huge plus. But, you know, the problem with taking away the headphone jack, some some people say, oh, the headphone jack is so 2001 or whatever those little comments are. Uh, reality is it's an option. And we all know now that OEMs are straight up just taking away all the options. And they're giving us stuff that we really don't need. Um, like, would you rather have a headphone jack, uh, or would you rather have what's something they could take away? What's something that they've they they could take away that we essentially need? Uh, a fingerprint reader. Would you rather have a headphone jack or a fingerprint reader? Meaning, like the fingerprint reader is in the screen, uh, or you know, on the back. That's probably a bad example. Yeah, that's that's a bad example. Point is, <laughs> they're taking away the essentials. Heck, even a central phone doesn't have a headphone jack, right? It doesn't have a headphone jack, and I think that's essential to making it a, a, a somewhat of a complete phone. So, what do we do if Samsung takes away the headphone jack from the new Galaxy Note? A couple of things are going to happen. People are still going to buy it. People are still going to rave about it. And people are going to just give them a pass in that area if something's really good in another area. And, and that's fair to do. That's fair to do. Like, I can give one plus a pass for taking away their phone jack because of the price point uh, and they're, how they're competing against the flagships. You know, so that's somewhat of a plus. But there are other flagships that cost less that still have a headphone jack and have more features than the OnePlus 7 Pro. So, you know, it's, it's subjective. And it's always subjective. But... Samsung taking away the headphone jack, you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do about it? Are you just going to buy the phone or you're going to get on YouTube and gripe about, it, <laughs> gripe about it, complain about it, and um, move on to the next. Now, speaking of OnePlus, OnePlus has released the almond version of the OnePlus 7 Pro, and there'll be a ton of people that jump out there and buy this phone. And, you know, I haven't seen it in person, but the color is actually beautiful. Uh, and um, it's to see. I like a lighter color phone. I like a different color phone. If they would have brought out a red phone too, uh, there is a OnePlus 7, uh, obviously, uh, but that's not a phone that's officially launched in the U.S., but you can buy them, and it, it, it comes um, uh, with all the bands that you could possibly need to, to operate safely in the U.S. Uh, it's just an international model, that's all. And it's selling for dirt cheap, man. It's selling for so cheap. And I think that um, the reason that OnePlus didn't release that phone over here is because they knew if we release this over here, we won't be able to sell the rest of these 6Ts. We won't be able to sell very many 7 Pros. And some people will say, oh, you know, it's, it's got the, the cut out at the top. And, 
it's not worth it. It still has pretty much the majority of the functionality of the 7 Pro, minus some of the physical aspects. That's pretty much it. It's still got stereo speakers and everything. Snapdragon 855, it's, it's, it's loaded up, you know. Uh, so, the the 7 Pro comes out in the almond color, and I'm, I'm going to be looking at some of you guys' reviews on that. Uh, and I want to address that 7, 7 Pro return policy. If I didn't already, some people have been messaging me, asking me that. Uh, I did not get charged the the um, return stocking fee. Uh, they gave me all of my money back. Uh, and the $749.99, or whatever, what they gave it all back to me. Uh, the only thing is I had to pay for the shipping, and I, I overnighted it to them uh, through FedEx, and that, that was it. It, it, it didn't the return process took only I've seen some people say that it took weeks and months uh, I got my money back within about seven days of them having the device uh, like I said I overnighted a FedEx to them you know, a day of processing then it gets there the next day uh, and then after that I consistently got I got two emails I got an email saying uh, no I got I got three emails I got an email as soon as they got it about a day later I got an email saying item received because uh, this is my first time doing a uh, return or anything uh, and so I got an email saying item received then the next email said you know we're gonna ins we're gonna inspect your device now uh, and um, that was about maybe three days later or so I don't know uh, and, and it was saying you know there's this little sliding bar that it shows you the progress uh, in the emails and in your OnePlus account and you know it that, that next email like I said it said we're gonna review it give us 24 to 48 hours to review it and then I didn't hear anything else until like that seventh and possibly the eighth day uh, and it just said refund and it completed there was nothing else and I looked at the amount I said whoa they gave me all my money back so uh, for me I didn't get charged 750 uh, I mean granted I, the phone was pristine it was new pretty much um, you know I had it uh, almost to my return period I think I think I had it, I think I probably had like another two days or something, or I don't know, before I could run out of my 15 days or whatever it is. Um, wasn't really tracking that. I was just making sure that I could return it when I was contacting them. Because uh, you have to apply for an RMA uh, and uh, they get back to you within a, a day or two uh, and that started the progress, process. So once they accept it, then they give you a date to get it in the mail. Uh, that's, that's what they did for me. So, yeah, I didn't get returned stocking fee for my OnePlus 7 uh, Pro. I guess some people who are saying that they got, <laughs> they must have trashed it, man. They must have, you know. Also, I don't open accessories. Pretty much that phone looks new. It actually looked like I didn't use it, actually. Uh, but to be honest, because that's the way all my devices are, if you notice in un unboxings, I don't remove any of the accessories, not for the purpose of I'm going to return it, but for the purpose of when I sell it. And plus, I use an anchor. I use, like... I use way more powerful chargers that are in these boxes. I have 80 watt chargers, 75 watt chargers, and uh, 60 watt chargers, 81 watt chargers, 87 watt chargers. So I use all these other chargers, and I have an anchor too, which is just awesome. So I use all these other chargers, so I don't have to worry about that. So also, that's probably why that could be a reason why I didn't get charged. I didn't open anything really. I didn't even tear open the little thing where they give you the. They, I'm sure OnePlus looks as that is. Um, you know we got to replace all these things so anything you open or tear apart maybe they're deciding to, I, I don't know I don't know but I don't open any of the accessories or phones and then when I package it back up I make sure all the little plastic is neat and that's solely for the purposes of selling it later down the line anyway it's your man Jay some news for you yeah Pixel 4 owners how do you feel about this new design if in fact it does come to light that way Galaxy Note 10 Future buyers, future owners, uh, you know, how do you feel about them removing the headphone jack? And also two models, <laughs> a pro model, and then supposed to be a regular model. And uh, you OnePlus 7 owners, who ordered the uh, Almond OnePlus 7 Pro? And also, if you have the OnePlus 7, you know, I'm really considering buying that vice, man. I, I, I really want that phone um, because that's the one I really wanted initially. Uh, so I might, you might see it on here. I'm just still waiting for the Sony, man. I, the, the Sony is just so, ugh. I, you know, I'm just waiting for that price to come down. Even though the price is already lower than what it's going to retail for, they might pull a fast one on us, man, and be like, hey, you know, order now, and you get 50 bucks off, or free this, free that. B&H, 
definitely gives away free stuff when they when they sell phones. So um, I, I'm looking for something. I'm trying to hold out, man. I've got what? Um, I've got I got a month as of today. Wednesday, June 12th, the phone starts selling on July 12th. So I have 30 days. It's the longest 30 days of oh man. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. Um, a little bit of news for you and updates. See you in the next one. Take care.